ACA Joe. Do you remember that? The Aka Joe. Oh, the Aka Joe. Remember yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it was like the you know the parachute pleated pants and everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that was really happening back then. Yeah. I thought. <laughs> you know, you know, like Urban Outfitters offered Aka Joe. Yeah. So so I get my first TV show ever, and they send. So first of all, I show up at the um, at the airport in L.A. I'm always late. Uh. This is when you can go. Flying up to the gate at right. the last second. Yeah, I have a full duffel bag, and I've been on the road, and my my manager's there with a suit, and I'm <laughs> yeah. there with the you know, like grubby clothes and everything, and yeah. ready to fly. They pick me up in a limousine. I have to understand, I'm a poor kid from Philadelphia. I couldn't believe a limousine. Yeah. Right. I'm doing this show called uh, Good Night Cafe or something like that. They put me at the Fairmont Hotel, and I, and I felt like you know uh, that guy Vern or whatever his name was, Ernest. I felt like Ernest goes to San Francisco. He's like, they put name on my chocolate. I got my chocolate with my name on it. That's that's what I was like. So now I'm I'm rooming. My manager decides to room with me because he's so cheap. Yeah. And so now we're in San Francisco. Understand right. this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have no clothes and I have to get wash done. Yeah. So I put my robe on with blue trim. He puts his on with pink trim. We order room service, <laughs> where the table comes between the two beds. Yeah. And you should see that guy's look on his face. Like, hmm, these two are just finished. <laughs> <laughs> he gave us the look, and you know, I'm, I'm trying to go. How about you know? How about those uh, 49ers? <laughs> you know, I'm trying that thing. So anyway, the guy comes in. So now I call down. This is a true story. I call down to the valet. Yeah. And I forget that it's an expensive place, and I have no money. Mm -hmm. And he comes up, and I swear to you, I go, he goes, I just point over. To, this guy also is looking. This guy's very flamboyant, and he yeah. looks at my clothes in a pile. And, he, and I, it's practically like he used a clothespin to, to close his nose <laughs> with tongs, you know, like barbecue tongs, like putting the clothes into the bag. And I go, just take the whole bag yeah. and do the wash yeah. and right. the dry cleaning because I need this stuff for tomorrow's show. Yeah. So he calls me back. I swear, to, this is the quote. He goes, Hi, Mrs. Shoemaker. This is Mike, your valet. I just thought you want to know that your bill's going to come to $172. And I don't think we want to spend that on Aka Joe. <laughs> no, he put me in my place. So now, I, I'm, going, I'm in a panic. I'm going, uh, well, keep the, uh, keep that... Keep the nice shirt. Yeah. And you hear him go, mm-hmm. And, and I said, and, and a pair of socks and bring everything else back. And he goes, hmm, I assume you mean the socks that match? <laughs> <laughs>